The MQ-9 Reaper, also known as the Predator B, is an unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, or drone developed and manufactured by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems. It is primarily used by the United States Air Force and other military forces around the world. The MQ-9 Reaper is a significant advancement over its predecessor, the MQ-1 Predator, and is designed for both reconnaissance and combat missions. Here are some key features and capabilities of the MQ-9 Reaper. The MQ-9 Reaper has played a significant role in modern military operations, providing persistent surveillance and the ability to engage targets with precision. It has been used in both combat and counterterrorism missions, and has been instrumental in reducing the risk to human pilots. Greetings everyone, throughout our previous videos you might have heard me talking about the US military. It's renowned for a myriad of tasks, some quite laughable to outsiders, yet it's a force to be reckoned with. This might leave you wondering, how does it maintain its edge? The answer lies in its advanced technology. A key player in their formidable arsenal is an unmanned aerial vehicle, the MQ-9 Reaper, infamously known as the Angel of Death. But what makes it such an adversary? In today's episode, let's delve into the advanced technology that powers the MQ-9 Reaper. Before we move forward, take a moment to hit subscribe. Your support keeps us going. The story of the MQ-9 Reaper begins in 2001 with an Israeli engineer renowned as the father of UAV technology. He conceptualized and brought to life the infamous RQ-1 Predator. Successfully tested on February 2, 2001, the Predator shattered all expectations. With its top speed of 220 km per h and its capacity to carry two large missiles or six smaller ones, it was a force to be reckoned. Besides, its ability to stay airborne for extended periods made it perfect for close surveillance of ground targets. Post 9-11, the need for UAVs with striking capabilities saw a meteoric rise, and so did the Predator's potential. Backed by the U.S. Department of Defense, the Predator evolved into an advanced weapon, welcoming a new era of drones. By 2006, it came to be known as the MQ-9 Reaper, spreading its wings in the sky as the Angel of Death. Manufactured by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems, the MQ-9 Reaper stands at a length of 11 meters, boasting a wingspan of 20 meters and a height of meters. Weighing in at 2.2 tons when empty, it can take off at a maximum weight of 4.7 tons and carry a useful load of 1.4 tons. The Reaper's seven weapon hardpoints offer it a wide range of armament choices, with four under each wing and two under the fuselage. The MQ-9 Reaper can carry a range of weapons including laser-guided bombs, air-to-ground missiles, and non-covert missiles. In 2017, the Reaper was upgraded to carry smart bombs, enhancing its combat capabilities even further. It played a crucial role in targeting ISIS positions in Iraq and Syria, and became the sole unmanned combat aerial vehicle of the U.S. Department of Defense once the MQ-1 Predator ceased operations. To sum it up, the MQ-9 Reaper, with its high-performance capabilities and diverse weapon range, is a testament to the evolution of unmanned aerial vehicles, capable of executing reconnaissance and attack missions flawlessly. U.S. Air Force leaders say the GBU-38 is equipped with a state-of-the-art guidance system, allowing for a tailored approach to specific ground targets. In particular, the JDAM, Joint Direct Attack Munition Conversion Kit, transforms basic bombs into smart bombs. The MQ-9 Reaper's GBU-38, a modified version of the standard MK-82 bomb, utilizes GPS or laser-guided systems to target even under harsh weather conditions. Under the hood of the MQ-9 Reaper, you'll find a powerful turbofan engine, the Honeywell TPE 33110GD, boasting an impressive 900 horsepower. It packs a maximum fuel capacity of 1.8 tons, providing an operational range of up to 1,926 kilometers, a flight time that can touch 20.8 hours, and a full payload time of 14 hours. It races to a maximum speed of 480 km per h and cruises comfortably between to 300 km per h. The MQ-9 Reaper operates optimally at altitudes reaching 15,000 meters and practically at 7,500 meters. It's armed with the ANDAS-1 Multispectral Targeting System, MTSB, for surveillance and target acquisition. To step up its combat game, the MQ-9 Reaper comes fitted with the AN-APY-8 Lynx Multimode Radar, a common feature in top-ranked manned combat aircraft globally. This radar system bolsters the MQ-9's collision avoidance, target search capability on the ground, and even picks up on potential adversaries' electronic countermeasure systems. To give it an edge in anti-UAV missions, it's armed with the AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missile. 
The MQ-9 Reaper can also deploy non-covert air-to-ground missiles like the AGM-92 Stinger, expanding its mission scope beyond set ground targets and even enabling remote control. Lastly, the video hints at the MQ-9 Reaper's possible maritime capabilities, implying that it could prove indispensable in searching for and striking enemy ships. While the MQ-9 Reaper has proven to be an invaluable asset for the U.S. military, it's worth noting that nations like Russia and China have been working on their own UAVs, seeking to compete or even surpass the MQ-9 Reaper. This competition suggests an exciting and growing field in the realm of unmanned aerial vehicles.